one of the things that I'm asked all the time, especially this time of year, is, you know, what is the point of, of the fuel filter? When do you need it and why? So instead of just giving you my personal opinion, I'm going to actually give you uh, information from the Mr. Heater uh, website itself. And we're going to kind of go through some of the, the questions and I'm going to give you the answers right off their site. So the first question is, what does the fuel filter do? This is the Mr. Heater Universal Fuel Filter, part number F273699. It's essentially an oil trap. Oily particulates are squeezed from the rubber of some hoses by the high pressure coming out of the propane bottle and can get pulled along with the flow of the propane and be deposited in the line of the big buddy heater, blocking any fuel flow. The filter being hollow causes these particulates to stick inside it, thereby filtering the fuel. All right, so the next question is, why do I need a fuel filter with my buddy heaters? Well, in most propane application situations, there's a regulator located at the tank, followed by the supply line. In that situation, what passes through the hose after the regulator is low pressure gas. Low pressure gas is harmless to rubber, but the buddy system has the regulator located on the heater. In this setup, you cannot have a regulator at the propane tank and a regulator at the heater because that'll cause overregulation of the gas supply. This makes the gas that passes through the hose to get to the buddy system high pressure, and high pressure gas squeezes the rubber as it passes through it, and it can occasionally pull some of the oils and plasticizers from the hose during these periods of high pressure. Those contaminants will travel with the flow of the propane and land somewhere inside the heater, slowly building up over time and causing gas flow problems once the buildup has become large enough. The 10-foot buddy hose does not contain any plasticizers or oily contaminants that will leach out of the hose during high pressure propane flow. That is why that hose does not need a filter. All of the other hoses for the buddy system will need a filter because they will contain oils and plasticizers unless they are the low pressure regulated hoses. So the next question is, how often should I replace my fuel filter for a buddy heater? On their website, Mr. Heater recommends starting the heating season with a new filter and disposing of it at the end of the season. They say that using one longer can cause the filter to fill up with the particulates. And then once the filter is full, the particulates will pass through the filter building up in the heater. So the next question I get is, why do some hoses need a filter and some don't? At the time I made this video, Mr. Heater made three hoses that do not require a filter. That's the F273704, which is made from a different chemical compound of rubber that does not have the oily substances and the plasticizers that get into the fuel flow. And then you have the F271802 that attaches to the low pressure line and the F21803, which is a regulated hose. Since the F21802 and the F271803 only see low pressure, the oily substances are not squeezed from the hose material. I hope this video helped you out, brought some clarity as to why you need a filter and when, and then which hoses are best and why you'd use different hoses. If you're interested in buying a filter, one of the hoses, one of the buddy systems behind me, go ahead and click the link above me or the one in the description below and you'll be brought to a shopping page where I've detailed all of the information that we just talked about and we'll give you links to Amazon. I am an Amazon affiliate so if you use my link for one of the buddy systems or any of the accessories I will get a small commission but you won't pay any extra. If you have any questions leave them in the comment section below and I'd be happy to get back to you. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.